Are you ready? Because I'm about to yeah. turn it on. Yeah. And it's koalifications. Okay. All right. Good morning! Wow. <laughs> Class. <laughs> Class is now in session. So I hope you have your donut pens ready. I'm so excited that mine is pink because kink. Kink. <laughs> pink is my colour. I thought you'd like the pink one. Yeah. So I took the brown one. Thank you. And gave you brown. the pink one. <laughs> Love it. Mine's chocolate, yours is strawberry. I like chocolate better though. Good. Good. Do you no. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our very first official episode of How to Socialize featuring me, <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> and also me. So if you are a long-time follower, first-time video joiner, yeah. I think. I welcome. think there'll be a few newbies today. Welcome to the party. You in for a treat my friend so today's webinar is all about how to hire and how to become an Instagram influencer and everything in between I've got a lot of stuff to share and I've been writing you. notes and then I gave up because I just I'm like it'll just come to me naturally there's just so much it will info to share yeah there's a lot of info to share we've got a lot to discuss today and yeah. it's not all going to be pretty <laughs> and and that is the fact of this morning oh my gosh so many people joining our live oh shit I'm not there's wrong, 68 sorry. people Hi, and everyone. you just got a little titty titty show <laughs> We are the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> All right, let's get stuck. Let's into jump straight it. into it. Let's jump straight in. Sorry, Ash. Yes. Please tell us who you are and what you do. Hi everyone. I'm Ashley. My Instagram is AshleyJ05. Don't know why it has a 05. Yeah, I was wondering yeah. that the other day. Do you know, I think it was when I made my very first email address at school. Mm -hmm. I added 05 to everything and then it just ran through. Cute. I was always the fifth person on the roll call or the 15th. Five was my number. So okay. it roll, roll now it's it. like iconic. Yeah. <laughs> and then all my friends are like, AshleyJ05, come here. And so, <laughs> so no one actually calls me Ashley. I thought Maybe your surname was like Jay like Doss or something. <laughs> so the zero five was like that, like funky no. bit at the end where no. you were trying to be really cool no. and put like a five instead no. of an S. It needs to go, and I just don't know what to do with it. Anyway, so my anyway. <laughs> moving along, moving right along. There's gonna be a lot of giggles today. I a lot of giggle giggles. pot, and then I think us two together are like a mixture for like explosion of. Giggles. Oh yeah, there'll be explosion. Uh-huh. Yeah. So hey, I'm already already getting them it dries. Hang on one second. I'm leaving that lid on. <laughs> dries. Did you wake up Mac? Never. Oh. Okay. But we just add Mac onto the things. Cute. Anyway, Miss So I started my Instagram account back when Instagram very first started. So if you go on my page, I actually have about over 3,000 posts on my page and I have tried to go what back posts? and archive. Is it archive? Is that how you say it? But it's just too hectic and I can't be bothered. Too much. Yeah. Because when you started, were you posting once a day, three times a day? Oh, probably once five a times a day. And right. Okay. It was, to me, it was never a thing. Back then, it was like, oh, this new platform, I'm just going to post a leaf. That looks cool. And like an apple. I actually have an apple photo on a bed somewhere way back on my page. I would never post that now. A green apple? It's red, red because I was doing a like Cute. a poison ivy shit. Is it an apple 05? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we'll be serious. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. I have a top on that says serious business women. You're not well, serious. Not, I need to take this more seriously. <sighs> okay, read it. Oh, zone ourselves. So so I would I hate labeling myself model and influencer. It makes me. But you like labeling yourself O five? Yes. 
it makes me kind of go like this a little bit because the word influ- <laughs> influencer makes me gag a it's little. my new cringe word <laughs> last year my cringe word was collaborate or collaboration it drove me nuts yeah. and this year my cringe word is influencer which is why we're doing this webinar yeah. let's, well. let's play a game if you can come up with a new word for influencer that's non-offensive mm-hmm. um comment below but <laughs> We'll review them What afterwards. a good prize. <laughs> oh my god. You will get this pink donut pen. Hey, that's my pen. Well, okay, you'll one. get the pen. You'll get the pen. So I first started actually on Facebook. So Facebook is where I chose to make a page because I guess no one believed in me when I started doing my modeling and everything. And some Adorable. some friends at the start were like, Why are you posting about yourself? This is insane. You're like self-absorbed and all of these things. And I was like, well, I'll put it on a new page a public page where you don't actually have to like it and yeah, yeah. so to keep it separate yeah um, don't judge me and if you don't want yeah. to follow it and you're going to follow it anyway and then abuse me that's your own problem. yeah so that's one tip there is if there is something that you're ding, wanting ding, to do i need a buzzer that's like ding 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 tip. Tip. let me write Great that tip. down <laughs> if buzzer. there is something that you are wanting to do like start your instagram account just start don't dilly dally don't hold it off you do have not to dilly get dally started. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Yeah, because if I didn't start, then there is no way that I would have travelled the world doing... Um, so I did bikini competitions and pageants. I did this universe um, photo shoots, and that's what kind of grew into collab- collaborations. <laughs> it's, it's not my favorite <laughs> of the year. We're safe. <laughs> this is a safe space to die. Um, actually, no, I, would say, I wouldn't say collaborations because that didn't start yet. It was more ambassadorship. So yeah, I was an cool. ambassador for Monster Energy, so I flew around Australia for, very cool. for that, which was a very, very cool thing. Yeah. And it was just by applying myself and putting myself out there, which is a very hard thing to do. It is scary. It's very, very scary. But you know what? You just got to do it. And if mm. you do it and stay true to yourself, mm. you, you'll do well. And people will be able to smell if you're not being yourself. They'll be able to smell. <laughs> Um, um, okay, so tell me about your clients. My clients. So if you land on my page, it is very uh, fashion-based, lifestyle. I, I love all things pretty and girly. Cute. That's why we're friends, because she loves all things pretty. <laughs> and I love pizza and I, <laughs> all, the, all the yummy things. Um, but so now a lot of the people that come through and want to work with me are be- our brands and fashion and yeah. um, people inviting me to try their restaurants and things because they do. What happens is if I tag just on my stories of some me trying somewhere that I really enjoy, then mm-hmm. they will say, hey, we actually had a few people come through after you posted us on your story. And that was just by me sharing what where I was eating that day. Yeah, so, just by chance, not yeah. an official agreement yeah. or anything. Yeah, I just... Okay. I so, just, yeah. ding, that's another tip. <laughs> I just think it's really nice to share small businesses. You know, they're all struggling. They're all trying to survive and Support always... the small business yeah. owner. Like people, Agreed. yeah, people bag out people that, you know, stand, don't stand on the table, but like taking photos at the table of your food and stuff. I think do it. Like post that photo on yeah. your story and support the local location. community. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. I'm down. Down. Okay, as an influencer then, well, that leads us to our next question. Yeah. How exactly do you help brands and businesses? By what do you help them do? By getting their name out there, that's a big thing. For small businesses, some just want to reach more cli- um, potential customers. Yep. And I do scan through everything when I get an email and I make sure that it aligns with my values. It's something that I genuinely am interested. I check out ding, their ding, website. Ding, ding, Values. Very <laughs> important. Very important. I waffle on about it all the time yeah. and I will continue to waffle until I have no breath left. Values are the key to everything in life. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. So if... Sorry. Thank you for coming to my rant. <laughs> That's okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. I... <laughs> I don't agree to everything that comes through. So uh, there's no way in hell that I could work with every single company that approached me. Mm -hmm. And as much as I would love to help everyone, I simply can't. One, I work full-time. So Instagram isn't my full-time job. Mm -hmm. I just happen to fill it in on the days where I'm not working, which is a big juggle in itself. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so that's why I'm in your membership, so I can plan my content. (laughs) Ding! (laughs) Ding! I need to 
get that buzzer. I actually have a yes buzzer. I think that'll do, but I didn't bring it. Oh, yeah, you didn't bring it. Okay, uh, last question for your mini interview. What do you say to brands who think influencers do not work? I think why you're not working with influencers. I always question when a business or brand doesn't use social media. I'm like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Utilize it because this is the way of the future. I mean, influencers have more reach and influence than some celebrities. Absolutely. Shani Grimm is one of them. She is massive. Oh, okay. Right That's now. a question I didn't write down. Who's your biggest influencer idol? The person you just said? Oh, no, because I don't. <laughs> I think. You're like me. <laughs> well, Hi. I do. I really look up to you because... No, I mean yourself. No, oh, not me. I do, I do look up to you, though, that you have so many good values that I live by and I connect Stop with. It. And, yeah, I learn a lot from you every day. You're one of the first people I tune into on the daily. Um, I'm not trying oh, no. to be a sucker. The pressure's on. <laughs> I'll um, invoice you for that later. <laughs> Just have your donut pen. Yeah. Um, oh god, that's a really hard question because there's so many companies and influencers that I follow for different reasons. Some mm. I really love the look of their page, or I love what they stand for, um, the way that they speak online. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, as in um, the captions for their text, or that they put themselves on stories Let's and show their both. face. Yeah, I, 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 that's really interesting. What, what actually, in the morning, the first thing I do, so when I get ready and do my makeup for work, I turn on stories mm-hmm. and I let them play through while I get ready. So I may not, not be watching the stories, but I love to listen to what everyone's doing. And then I might glimpse over and have a look at what's going on. So mm-hmm. I really, yeah, it's kind of my YouTube but I love listening to people's stories because it's the people that I choose to follow and I want to see what they're doing and what they're up to. And does it make you feel like you know them even if you don't? Yeah, it's kind of a little see? glimpse into their life. So, see? so I never, I, with my full-time job, I'm not allowed to say where I work on social media, okay. but I give people a little glimpse and it's very clear to <laughs> figure it out. Um, there is only one casino in Perth. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just went blank. That's okay. We can yeah. wrap up there. Yeah. We'll wrap up segment, not segment. Is it segment? I don't Part know. Part one of this three-part webinar. So, now that we've met you yeah. and we know you, let's talk about, first of all, how to become an influencer. So, my first question is, what exactly is an influencer because since everyone seems to think they're an influencer these days <laughs> in your opinion yeah. as a successful influencer oh, thank you <laughs> what you're welcome what is it what does it mean i think you need to be able to influence it's exactly what the title is you're right. influencing your audience so people are choosing to follow you because there's something about you that they like <laughs> so whether it is yeah your values or your posts that you create um, your fashion your style your fitness choose your niche and stick to it ding, 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 ding. so it would be really random if oh, what's a good example that I can give what's like a fake like a fad that's right now um, Pokemon that catch me Pokemon thing um, well I went through the Pokemon phase where no, I, what's that one lately where people were like running around in Kings Park banging into each other and stuff wasn't that Pokemon Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> right. So maybe <laughs> let's say <laughs> let's just say that you pick a face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of one. I should have prepared for this. Hmm. Um, it it wouldn't make sense if I just started posting about things that didn't match my page or things yeah, that I genuinely weren't interested in. And let's say a brand approached me and let let's say cooking, for example. I can't cook. I can't talk about cooking on on here. Why? Because I, I can't cook. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I'm not a cook. I can make toast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I always think about, I'm like, oh, my God, imagine if one day HelloFresh approached me. I'd be like, what the frick do I do? Because, one, 
I Doesn't wouldn't... Hello Fresh come made? Isn't that no, the point? no, no? You have to make it. So they send oh. you the box of stuff, and then you have to put it together. So it looks like my thing is, is yes. <laughs> Neither will my husband. God, he starves as it is when I'm not home. Actually, we don't cook at all. Um, so oh, okay. he, he. If Hello Fresh were to contact me, I'm just using them as an example. I would have to tell them I can't cook and that is genuine and so yeah. I would probably like have to think about how could I make this work for me so yeah. I would show them how much I can't cook and yeah. probably do a live or do follow along so steps. Your um, tip on that is whatever you decide to do, always keep it authentic. Yes, keep it authentic. Don't do something. Don't that, do something just for the hell of it. Yeah, I think yeah. that's another really good tip. As yeah. Well. Um, okay. Yeah. Do you have anything more to say on that? I don't think so. I'm sure things will come up. Okay. Next question. How do you become an influencer? In your opinion, I mean, you've told us how you began. Yeah. But if someone is watching this and they want to be an influencer, as in everything you've just said, yeah. what would be, I guess, your three first steps? Okay. So start posting quality content without being too pitchy as well with your captions. So you can mm. share things that you love and use. Start tagging the brands that you already love yeah. in your uh, tag on the photo. Is there a special word for that? Pin, pin tag. Pin tag instead of an at, yeah, instead yeah. Of a mention yeah. in the caption. Because sometimes captions can get lost if you mention a brand. Mm -hmm. Double points if you do both. Yeah. And they're gonna be like, oh, who is this person? And you don't have to have a shitload of followers to be an influencer. If mm -hmm. people are liking your stuff and they're asking you questions, where is this from? Or um, that's that's when I started noticing, I guess, that I was having an influence on the people that was that were following me because people started asking. I would get inundated with questions. And, Interesting. Yeah. And I think that's a really good point as well. Maybe the ticking point of when you know you are an influencer mm -hmm. is perhaps when you can't keep up with the questions that are coming yes. in about your post. Yes, that's I right. I think that's a good point because there is no official, I'm an influencer, I have an influencer qualification, I have an influencer yeah. badge. It's um, up to debate, I guess. Yeah, it's a, there's a, really an opinion yeah. rather than an official thing. Yeah, so you could even have a thousand followers. It's how you use your page and what content you're putting out there and what is your page all about. I mean, if you're just posting a full page of selfies, it's not inspiring. I'm sorry. I'm sure you have a beautiful face, but it's not inspiring. Thanks. It's, <laughs> it's, I'm not going to follow someone's page just because you're posting selfies. Yeah. Yeah. So give the people the, a reason to want to follow you. Absolutely. I think they are very good tips. Thanks. Okay. Um, how to get brands to sponsor you then. So we've opened our account, we've created our valuable content for our audience. Yes. Um, we've identified who we want this audience to be specifically. Yeah. And we are tagging these brands, mm -hmm. but is there anything else that we can do to get the brands to notice us, in your mm -hmm. opinion? I think there's no harm in reaching out to a company. I would always suggest emailing rather than DMing. Yeah. I mean, I'm, actually, I'll add that tip to later on. But email rather than DM because a DM can get lost. Totally. Absolutely. And you can introduce yourself, say, oh, like how long I've been using your brand or your product for. I absolutely love it. And do you um, do collaborations or would you consider collaborating at any time in the future? Because then it's giving them the option to think about it. Include your links. The one tip I would say is don't be entitled. Don't sound like you oh, deserve. I'm doing the Matthew Day. <laughs> Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because I've had people in the past message me say, I want what you want, how do I get it? One time I had a, yeah, legit, one time, here's a bad example. I had a influencer, TV personality, um, email me after I had this, I landed a really massive deal with a big, big brand, like worldwide. And... I was so excited and they contacted me and just sounded so self-entitled. It was very um, 
presumptuous, is that a word? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> <P>. <laughs> I'm like, With are you a dictionary? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> presumptuous. P R E. No, keep going. Yeah. Yes. Go spell it. No, don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, How? Chewis. And it was like, hey, babe. One, don't say babe. Don't call me babe. If, if you, I don't yeah. know you. So, it, yeah, I hate when people call me hun. I'm like, uh, uh, like H O N? Or like, hun. Me? Hello, hun. <laughs> nah, it just, I'll wipe you out straight up. Swipe, wait, I don't even Tinder, but is it left or right? I don't know. It's just before swipe my time. you out. Um, I just think email no, etiquette, etiquette is yeah. very important. Treat it professionally yes. if you want to be taken seriously Absolutely. and professionally yeah. because it can be a serious job. Yeah, and you can include examples of times that you have collabor- collaborated with Tell people. Tell us again. <laughs> what? I can't say it. See, it's such a word that makes me cringe. I'm like, and I'm collaborate <laughs> and you put some like, <laughs> So, oh, I love it. Oh, no. Nah. Um, it's bloody sweaty getting, in here. I know, I have to keep the air con off. Oh, sorry. Oh, sweaty tickle. Beans. Next time, Seriously. bring a little... Um, ice pack and pinky yeah. on your lap. <laughs> um, oh. So you can include examples in your email of uh, the photo that you posted and how it's worked for you. Um, Cute. Yeah, because it's nice if brands are already reaching out, like small brands might reach out to you and be like, hey, I like what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to work together? So there's no harm in you reaching out to brands that you already love because they may notice you down the track. You're just quickening the process yeah yeah cool i like that tip yeah it's sort of a shortcut yeah yeah there's no harm just don't undercut people as well so Mm. i mean i really i really like it when other influencers ask me for tips and advice and don't undercut me that is a massive one because it's very respectful and i'm sure that goes with brands and businesses as well yeah um what i can't stand is seeing influencers just outright copy and Mm. um but and not giving credit to Mm. where they've got the inspiration from Mm. yes that's a webinar for another day coffee break this is actually vodka (laughs) now look i don't mind if it is it doesn't bother me all right um now leading on to that how to cultivate your brand oh my best friend's on sorry i just saw my bae Okay, yeah, yeah that's all right. Yeah, and then I'll just try them if I need to. So, I guess what happened with me, as many of you know, and if you don't know, so I originally started my business or my mm-hmm. social media as villa management. And as my business grew, and I guess people started to care what my opinion was on things, mm-hmm. for whatever reason they thought it was important, um... I guess I began getting more involved with the media yeah. and that is when I decided to separate my business villa management page yeah. from my personal Brooke Vilinovich yeah. page. Yeah. I also um, have a I made a separate account now, so I have my Ashley J page and then I have do. who is Ashley. Only yes. so that I can post photos of my friends and family without getting ridiculed ridicule yeah right? so yeah. I just, yeah you can get more personal yeah with that page because you don't need to have a strategy behind it yeah so if i started uploading happy birthday to my friend yeah. on my ashley j page page my friend my followers are gonna be like we don't care yeah it's very true that's not why they're following me they don't care about my friend's birthday they might care about alex's but not oh honey it's my dog but yeah sorry friends i love you but yeah <laughs> So to, to really answer that question, how do you cultivate your brand to become an influencer? Well, it really comes back to what we were talking about at the start. Yeah, it really I does. Think, I think it's when you have an engaged audience that want to know your opinion or are asking questions yeah. about things that you do or things that you wear or places you go or whatever yeah. it is, that's, and that's a natural progression that will happen over time. Yeah, so yeah, it does isn't. take time. I mean, like, yeah, it's. I've been on Instagram now for eight years, and it's only been within the last, let's say, I'm not going to say a year because that's a long time. Because I kind of reached a stage throughout Instagram where I was just posting whatever for the hell of it, and mm-hmm. it stressed me out, and I wasn't enjoying it, and I didn't see it as a serious thing. Mm-hmm. So it's only been since 
around the time that I signed up to your membership, I was like, right, I need some new inspiration. I need, I took a step back. That's interesting. And yeah, whenever I want to reapproach things, I take a step back and I, yeah. pull, and I pull, back. pull back. I don't care if it affects my engagement or anything like that because as long as I'm happy doing what I'm doing, then that's what's important to ding, me. Ding, ding, ding. honestly, an amazing like, don't, I don't, I honestly don't care. The world is not going to end because you didn't post for a week. Yeah, I Let actually yeah. <laughs> tell you that. Nobody cares. I said to my friends last week, I was like, if my account got hacked, I'd be like, okay, I can start again. It'll be a restart. And they're like, what? I'm like, no, honestly, like, I, I don't wish that to happen. Hackers don't fuck me over. But, <laughs> but obviously, I'd be devastated because all that content would be lost. Yeah. But in a way, I'd be like, oh, this is relieving. I can start again. Yeah. The um, pressure's off. Yeah. Yeah. Don't it is a lot of pressure. It Do you is, feel the pressure? Oh, 100%. It's... It's, if people say, oh, it's not a competition, but it, th- th- there is. You're always going to scroll. You're always going to compare. Yeah. You're always going to wish that you had something. And I don't think that's ever going to stop. Yeah. People can preach about it stopping yeah. and say, oh, like, don't, don't compare yourself. It's hard. It's hard for any business, for any person in any industry. It's hard as well because you don't know, for example, as a business, they may have a really successful Instagram account in terms yeah. of followers if yeah. that's what you consider to be the definition of success on yeah. Instagram but are they making any money mm-hmm. have they ever sold anything ever do they have any customers yeah and I guess the influencer version of that as well is are all their photos edited do they have those ads did they use an app to put them on are their legs that long yeah like there's so much that you can do online that is fake yeah. and why it's called the highlight reel as well so you're comparing to something that's not even real yeah and that's 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 a hard I think thing to get your head around as well absolutely yeah I mean my followers have seen me cry scream tanties <laughs> like I show a lot of myself on Instagram so I think that's how people can connect I don't want to be like oh, my life so is perfect. real yeah. yes but yeah. um but there are times where You've got to keep some stuff to yourself. Yeah, I think that's a really good point as well. Ultimately, if you want to be an influencer, it's a business. Mm. And yes, there is a difference between authenticity and too much info. Overshare. Overshare with your clients and potential customers. So it's a very fine line, but I think... What really works for me and the advice that I give a lot of people is you can share your downfall, but how did you recover from it? What did you learn from it? What would make sharing that downfall useful, inspiring, educational to other people? Yeah, and also just consider if it's going to affect anyone else involved. So if it's a story... yeah. Don't be passive aggressive either. Like, yeah. <laughs> so that's just one thing on social media yeah. I can't stand is saying passive aggressive posts. I think if you have an ish, just sort it out. Sort it out. Yeah. Sort it out. I'm with you there. Um, okay. Um, do you think we've done tips to put yourself out there? Yeah, 100%. Okay. So, oh, is it okay to copy and paste the same message to every brand asking for free shit? Absolutely not. Don't do this. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Um, I mean, just you don't can, do it. You can have an outline of the things that you would like to do, like the introduction. Um, yeah, the introduction because but personalize yeah, it. Yeah, yeah personalize saying. it and yeah. say how long you've been following them, how long yeah. you've been using their brand or product or going to them, um, and then take it from there and yeah, just ask a few questions, open questions, so then it gives them a reason to want to write back to you. I look forward to hearing back from you because then it, it's like, oh, okay, well, either way, I'm going to let them know. And yeah. don't be disheartened if they say at the moment we're not looking for collaborations or to work with others where we've reached our quota for the month because a lot of brands and businesses do have a limit of stock that they can give out as freebies yep. to influencers. That's yep. a good one. Yeah. Thanks. Great. She knows her shit. <laughs> um, all right. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. How much can you expect to be paid? Okay, I actually wrote this down. Okay. Yeah, because I wanted to give yeah. I got this off the right fit website. So mm-hmm. um I guess this can go in addition to if you wanted to start as an influencer, there are platforms that you can join mm-hmm. where you can apply for the things that you want so it's kind of like seek 
but you're applying for influencer jobs or it's the right fit is a great platform because it's for makeup artists, hairdressers, photographers, models, influencers, bloggers, you name it, it's on there. Anything media related, mm -hmm. it's all on there. And I love it because I can choose the jobs that I want to apply for. Yeah. And then if I get it, amazing. And if I'm getting paid for it, double amazing. Mm -hmm. So on their website, the stats are that if you have three to 20K, um, you get between 75 and 300. Mm -hmm. So their minimum is they make sure that the minimum you're paid is $75 and that covers the admin of... Is this per post? Yeah, is for this a what post. We're talking about? Yes, one, yeah, one post. post on your feed? Yeah, and, and that Instagram story. story. So I think it's really nice. If you do an unboxing, it is part of the job, I would say. Like, I like to over deliver. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of don't say all that I'm going to do. I want to impress them and give the brands a reason to want to work with me again. Mm -hmm. Or to, to uh, recommend me to another so that's how also I've gotten a lot of jobs is because of recommendations yeah to other brands and companies so over deliver that over another deliver. key yeah excellent yeah um so 20 to 100k is 300 dollars to 600 dollars a post and this is australian dollars my friends yes yes so this is australian dollars um 100 to 250k is 550 dollars to 800 dollars mm -hmm. $200, 200K to 500K, $800 to $1,200, and 500K plus is $1,200 plus. So it's a lot of dollar dollar yeah. bills. Now, if I don't want small businesses to freak out and think, I don't have the funds to do this. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of influencers or start out influencers are more than happy to get your brand awareness out there. Mm -hmm. Um. If so it aligns with them. On that, yep. those numbers, is that cash or is that someone saying, here's the product? Yep. Let's say the product itself is worth $100. Yeah. Do you get sent the product? Yeah. Do the post? Yeah. Send it back? No. Um, I've worked with a company. I mean? yeah, yeah. So I have worked with a company who um, sends me the product and I take the photo, da da da, post, they pay me, I send it back. Which is sad because I want the product. <laughs> but would but, you take the product instead of the cash then if the value was similar? Things like clothes, yeah. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I think of it like this. Things that I would buy personally. Yeah. Because I would buy it. Like, activate. If someone sent me shoes, I'm like, hell yeah. Like, I would wear shoes. Yeah. Uh, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Duh. Um, some will highlight, okay, this is our requirement. Where are they going to give you half payment and you keep the product. Mm -hmm. I think if you genuinely love the brand, you would take the product, mm -hmm. maybe sometimes without payment. Mm -hmm. I'll admit, I recently did a collab with Dyson mm -hmm. and they gifted me two hair dryers, one for me and one to surprise my best friend with. And I was like, um, Cute. that is epic. The yeah. One hair dryer is worth six hundred dollars. Yeah. So of course, life goals. Yeah. Get it done. So, <laughs> Seriously, my, my best friend is very happy. Um. So to me, I thought, well, I'm gonna win here. Like, yeah. And that was amazing. And I want to work with Dyson. I think if you can get your foot in the door with brands that are huge and have great um, brand awareness. Yeah. Have some flexibility. Yeah. Have some I flexibility. Think. I think. Don't set. Obviously, you can have um, rules and guidelines that you personally work yeah. by, but don't be like, this is my only option. If you don't fit with this, we're not working together. Yeah. If it's a big brand that has a lot of pull. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a local... Or such company, yeah. if it's... Like, yeah. <laughs> ba <-boom. laughs> There's a local Perth company that... Um, is like a start out and I really would love, I love their stuff. I've been following them for a while now and then they reached out to me this week. And so when I saw the email come up, I was like, oh, like, I'm so, I, and I want to get their name out there and I do genuinely love the product. Yeah. And I don't just follow brands to get free shit. Like you can't expect things. You like, cannot I expect free no. shit from everyone. No. The reason I follow them is like, oh, maybe one day I'll get my ass in the gym and I'll... <laughs> And I'll use, I'll buy something to then get myself inspired to then when you active wear. But you know, yes. so Cute. yeah, so it's you know, follow brands that you love and maybe they'll notice you. Good tip. Ding ding ding. <laughs> okay, I think I think that's quite good. I think yeah. we can move on to the brand side now. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Also, um, I'll just add to also it's great if you have a media kit. So what you can offer. What's a media kit? Oh, Tell a me media people. kit. Okay, so if a company contacts me, sometimes I do get overwhelmed with the amount of email. I don't want to sound like a wanker. That sounds so wankerish. But um, fine, she <laughs> prefixed it with wankerish. <laughs> she doesn't want to sound like a wanker right now, so mm-hmm. that's a prefix. <laughs> Go on. So, um, if there's a whole bunch of emails that I'm receiving and it's all of the same thing or it's it's a oh, I don't know how to say this or if it's this is some, a safe space yeah if this is the, if it's something that doesn't like I could do the job if I wanted to but um, you're not like excited yeah about only it? only because my time is very short so yeah. you know my days off I don't want to be spending the whole all my days off creating content yeah so I want to do the stuff that I really really Love. Oh, that and sparks joy. I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. So, in one post, yeah. how much time actually goes into, let's say, from when they first email you yeah. to when the product, aka the post, because that's your so, product, yeah, yeah. gets delivered? Because I think this is the reality that a lot of people don't realize. Yeah, so how much work is involved so with much. taking this seriously? So yeah. tell us that. So much time. So for those of you that don't know, my husband, Alex, he's a professional photographer. So I'm very, very lucky and I'm very grateful that I have him to take my photos. Mm -hmm. So I'll receive an email, a couple will go back and forth. What I love is when a brand has everything in the email. So this is who we are. This is what we're offering. What can you give us? Um, Do you have a media kit or whatever? Sometimes I ask, sometimes I don't. Mm-hmm. Um, some are just asking for a collab and then um, send us your address. So then in my reply, I can put yeah. what I want. Um, my the back and yeah. forward. Everything's taken oh. out. Because it's the time back yeah. and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Yeah. Just tell me what you want. Exactly. Make it easy for the influencer yes. to agree to. Yes. If it's so much back and forth and so you're not really telling me who you are and I have to then go and search you and I'm like, ugh, like just make it easy for mm. everyone. Um, and then, so you wait for the product and then I have to wait for my days off, Mm -hmm. um, to schedule in time to do the shoot and then I'll be on my husband's back, like give me my photos and I have to choose the photos. How long would a shoot take? Let's go preparing your makeup. Yeah. Preparing the setting or whatever. So some brands actually send screenshots of photos that are already on my page and they'll say, we like the look of this, which makes it so much easier. Yes. I'm like, cool, then I can go with this look. So then that's a bit of a guide, a brief. And I love a brief. Don't overwhelm me with too much information, but give brief. me a brief. Give yeah. me a brief. Because um, then we know what's expected. Yeah. You're um, both on the same page yeah. before you start. Absolutely. And then we'll, so my husband and I will go out and location hunt, which takes yeah. time. A couple of Sundays ago, we spent three hours finding a location because this brand is very specific in what they wanted and just couldn't find anything. Mm. So I was like... Interesting. Yeah. So it's, it's so, so much how many fun. hours do you think we're up to now? Oh, God. This is at least seven. Seven. And we haven't even started started no. taking the photo. So that's no. already seven hours. So when people are shocked at, it's just a picture, why can't I send you my $5 product and you'll post about it, it's because of the amount of time that goes into preparing the post yeah and then also the amount of time shooting then also the amount of time engaging with the post yes amount of time responding to stories coming up with a caption (laughs) coming up with a caption there is a lot (laughs) of time involved and that's what you're paying for yeah not just that one post yeah and also consistently showing that you do love the brand so yeah I find it works really well. Like there's this necklace I'm wearing today. So Alex got me this for my birthday about three years ago. And every single day that I do an Instagram story, I say, good morning, Instagram. I get messages come through. Where is this necklace from? And I didn't even buy this. Like Alex Mm. did. And so they have received so much um, customers because from of that. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. and she has offered to send me more, but I'm like, oh, it's okay. Like, I don't want you to feel like you have to. Yeah, um, but it's very sweet that she has. But now I'm like, okay, maybe like if you're listening, maybe. <laughs> but like, if you had one that had like I don't know a twenty carat diamond in, I guess I guess I could replace this one with that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. um, so we talked. Yes. Yeah, so we've talked about the amount of time that goes in it. Well, we've pretty much segued into how to hire. So, as a brand, how do you approach an influencer? 
Hmm. So we've talked about you approaching brands, yeah. but what's the way that you prefer brands to contact you? Okay, one thing I'll say that brands might use. Okay. Um, that it, so in my bio, it actually has, please email for business inquiries. Hmm. So what do people do? DM me. Ah, interesting. <laughs> so I think... <laughs> I love people. People are a good So time. I think, have you actually looked at my page? Yeah. Can you read? Do you know what I'm about? Are you even following me? Oh, is that not the worst when they're not following you? Yeah. Um, yeah, it just really <laughs> grinds my gears. And so I think I'm just going to let it sit there because if you really wanted to work with me, yeah. you would then go on my page and see, oh, wait, she does have an email link. And take this seriously. And take it seriously because I do take this seriously. Like, I don't take life seriously, you know, but... I, I treat this like business. Because, yeah, yeah. And that's why you're so successful. Thank and I you. think that's why so many brands want to work with you because they know that you take it seriously. Yeah. You're not just going to go into the corner of a room with their product and take a selfie. And yeah, like, that's, oh, what that'll do. that's what I wanted to say before. Like, if a brand wants me to take a selfie, I'm not taking a selfie. Like, mm -hmm. I, just, I just won't do it. I don't think it's inspiring. I think that holding a product up and doing this, mm -hmm. why would I want to like and engage on that? Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But I think that's what it used to be about. But... I love a challenge and I think after, you know, joining your membership, I, I turned to Alex and said, I really want to change the way that my page looks and I want to learn Lightroom and it may, it took for me to want to learn for me to start putting in all this effort into my page and yeah. taking on all the advice that I get in your membership. Like people say, oh, it doesn't work for influencers. Well, it is always in the back of my mind when I'm- But like, it takes work. Yes, yeah, so you have Everything to put the work, work in. And I think if I actually applied myself and followed your- Oh my God, if I had a dollar for every member that said, <laughs> if I actually did everything that you taught me to do. <laughs> like I do see the results. Um, but if I did it every if single you did day, everything, then you would see even bigger results. Yes, but <laughs> the thing is, I'm aware, and I think that's a good thing. And since I've been doing those changes, where my page has become more successful, I, I would say that. So I think we brands, when brands land on my page, they see, okay, her posts are professional. You know, I, I am using a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. um, I use Lightroom. When I say Lightroom, I don't want people to think that editing is always a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I don't use Facetune or any of that shit. I will never alter my body um, for a post. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's one thing that that's I stand for. Um, just yeah. Be but you. you know, there's like shadows and shit. Yeah. There is a reason that professional photographers exist. Yeah. They make exactly. pictures look better. Like personal trainers make your body better. They take what's already there and just yeah. So it's just enhancing it. enhance your image. the good features. Yeah, and bringing out the, the colors that you may not see and that yeah. kind of thing. So brands will land on my page and see like, hey, like this girl. She's uh, deli she delivers good photos yeah. and, and I'll always also give the brand extra photos if they want because, you know, I, I have the ability to do that. I have a professional photographer, yeah. so we've taken a bunch of photos and I might pick like six of them, he'll airdrop them to me and then I might post one or two and then send the rest to the client. So, hmm. yeah. Interesting. Over deliver. Over deliver. Um, what should you look for when engaging an influencer as proof of their influence? Okay, so like insights, does anyone ever ask you for like proof of sales from someone you've worked from? Um, not proof of sales, no, but that's coming back into that is the word of mouth thing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I know the skin boutique that's nearby of you. It um, is. <laughs> so she's a friend of mine who owns the skin boutique and just by, before I even leave her, the car park out the front, she gets people calling up booking appointments. Wow. So, and she shared that. That's that. very powerful information. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, wow. And it's really nice to hear that feedback. Yeah. Um, yeah. So sometimes I do give examples I, and they, I just have to trust that they trust that I'm <laughs> yeah. Yeah. being real. Yeah, and I'm yeah. being real. Yeah. And I give them the links if they want them so that they can contact the business. Okay. Yeah. Just to vouch for me. And what do you think then on sharing insights? Um, I think, yeah, always have your, um, like you can send your screenshots mm -hmm. and things. I think that is, there's no harm in the brand asking to share, especially if they're paying, mm -hmm. absolutely ask the influencer for your insights. And that's also um, what you could include in your media kit as well. Mm. Yeah. Two good tips. Ding, ding. One thing, um, 
let's can I say a don't do? Yes. Um, always. So I'm not sure if people are aware that there's a thing called pod groups. Yeah. And I would say to not be in too many pod groups. I would say to not be in pod groups. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm not in any pod groups. There was once upon a time where I used to be in a pod group and I just thought, this doesn't work. It's not me. They're a waste of time, guys. Yeah, it they is. They really are. Um, and there was only like 10 people in it. But a pod group is basically a group where um, you're all in, like, let's say, like money bloggers or something, for example. They, mm-hmm. They're all in a group and when they do a post, they'll share the link to the post um, in the group and then you all engage in it. And... The comment may not even make sense to the photo that's being yeah. posted. I mean, that's why when I see posts with questions, I'll always try and answer the question because it shows a genuine comment. Mm. Like, you know? So, yeah, there are, there are, there I, as far as I'm concerned, a waste of time. Yeah, and also, in a way, I think it's fraud. It's, if a brand wants to work it's out, cheap. work out to you. They're like a diet reach pill. Out, yeah, <laughs> reach out to you. <laughs> you gotta work out, I'm a <laughs> diet pill. <laughs> I think they're a waste of time. I think they're a shortcut. I think yeah. I don't really like to use the word cheating, but it's mainly it's with what's natural. Yeah, you know. And there are websites now like um, oh, husband will kill me if I forget Social Blade, where you can put in an an a Instagram page and see the insights of organic engagement. And mm-hmm. I think it does affect the Social organic. Blade. Yeah, check Social it out. Blade. Yeah. Cool. My stats are so fudged though because I've been deleting all followers, like the bot accounts that follow you overnight. Mm, I get so many overnight and also I've been blocking pages that have started following me from when I very first started my Instagram account Mm. because back, I'll add going back to how I became an influencer. Yeah. You know, start posting. Bikini comps. Bikini comps and stuff. So it's unwanted followers. I don't think they need to be following my page anymore because... Um, my page has evolved into something new. I mean, yeah. the day that I, you know, maybe if I ever do have a baby, I want to be able to post on there. Um, and I don't want these people who only followed me for my bikini photos. Yeah, to be looking yeah. at the kids. So I, totally. and I, and again, this is why I don't care about numbers is because I'm like literally going through and deleting, deleting followers. I'm so savage, but I just I love don't it. care. I love it though. <laughs> do not focus on followers. You'll never get anywhere if you focus on followers. Yeah. Um, all right, signed contracts. I think they're great. It's a very clear and precise um, expectation of what the brand wants from you. As do you always ensure you have a signed contract no. with everything you do? No. 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 I think not, you know, smaller businesses may not be at that stage yet where they have one. Yeah. And they may just be wanting to get brand awareness. I mean, yeah. But bigger brands. Yeah, but bigger brands do. So always. Dyson had a contract. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good tip. And this is the thing, guys. A contract doesn't need to be something drawn up by a lawyer. It could literally just be an email stipulating exactly what you as the brand expect, what the influencer knows they're expected to deliver. You've both agreed on it. Move forward. It's just, it's really something just to come back to if there is any discrepancy in terms of what was expected or wasn't delivered. You can say, well, this is what we agreed upon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, you have nothing to protect you. Absolutely. Oh, that's something I wanted to point on. You cannot just send an influencer a heap of shit in the mail and then get pissed off because they didn't post about it. Yeah. So, right? yeah, if you're just, so you do mean if they're like just no so contact hey, at I all. have a brand and I'm going to send you a parcel. Yep. Yeah. And you're like, oh, cool. I got this parcel. Where's but, my post? Yeah. You can't but no, that. there was no previous communication, there was no we're right. gonna send you this thing, and you just get parcels of stuff that you're like, oh, what yeah, what's this all about? Yeah. You, you, then there's no letter, there's nothing. It's just free product, which yeah. I know maybe to some people it's like, oh cool, free product, but it's a bit like what do I do with this? Yeah, What's it yeah. about? Tell me something about your brand. I didn't even know you existed until a minute ago. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of introduce yourself and let the person know that you're sending stuff to. I mean, I'd be scared to open something up if I didn't know if yeah. I was expecting something. I just I'm uh, like, is this a bomb? <laughs> is this a bomb? Uh-huh. Or is it puppies? I would just I would just ask because I polite. don't consider myself an influencer in any way, shape, or form. But I do get people approach me a lot. I think for me, because I have a business, 
I need to be very careful with what I align with because yes. of my business. Yeah. My job isn't to be an influencer. I have a business that pays me money. If, and as, as, uh, I guess this goes on to what you said. If it's something that I'm already doing or I would pay for anyway, yeah. that's when I'm like, okay, cool. This could work. Yeah, but, because it's like you're turning your hobby into... I wouldn't say career. I mean, some people yeah, do have a yeah. career out of Instagram. But I mean, like how you're on the treadmill every single morning. It would make sense for a fitness brand to reach out to you and say, hey, see you're on the treadmill every morning doing do you your Instagram. Give me a treadmill? Then I don't have to <laughs> yeah, share with send her a treadmill. The guy that always takes my fucking treadmill. <laughs> my treadmill from this time to this time, that is my time. You should get a reserved sign. <laughs> That's what people do at the casino. They're oh like, don't God. touch my machine. Oh my God, I doing it i love it yeah, okay so hang on we are on a time limit we've only got 10 minutes left oh wow so before the live's gonna cut out so what haven't we talked about well, we've talked about that um oh okay um i think this is a good one how do you know what type of content that your followers will want to see from an influencer like as a business that maybe is sitting here listening and saying okay i need a contract i need to see this but i don't know what they want how do i know what they want ask them interesting easy so your followers follow you for reason instagram has so many cool tools now utilize them use so every many. single one on your stories ask your um your followers what is it that you want to see who do you love who do you want to see and tag your favorite yeah, tag your favorite it's there's a post idea get people to start engaging on a post and see who gets the most popular vote or check out the tags and see who aligns with your brand the most mm. I like that. Great tip. Um, uh, wow. <laughs> How to use influencers to attract customers? How to use influencers to attract customers? Yeah, so I guess that's something important as well that we haven't talked about. So as a brand, yeah. I want to hire you yeah. to do a post. Sure. Do I then post that on my feed as well? I don't expect you to. What I do like though is if I have if we are working together and I do my post, I would love for the brand to like and comment that yeah. photo. <laughs> I, it actually upsets me if they don't. Oh, and so I, I'm like, I'm like, have you seen it? Like I've tagged you. Um, <laughs> and but they'll email and say amazing post, we love it. I'm like, why didn't you engage on it? That's like, a bit <laughs> odd. Yeah, yeah. I, I see it's that. not everyone, but it's just really nice if you do. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a really good tip to end with. So, this is the end of the webinar. If you would like to engage this beautiful lady as an influencer for your brand, how can people find you? You can find me at Ashley Jade 5 That's A S H L E I G H Jade J A D E 5 <laughs> On and and I know you said that you prefer to be contacted by email. Yeah, so, is what you prefer. Yeah, so if you're on my on my Instagram page, there is an email link on there, so you can just tap that and voila, and take voila, you to we'll take you to Influencer Town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, a scary place. <laughs> is there anything you feel you need to share with the people that you've not said before we wrap up? The pressure. I don't know. I feel like there's lots of questions coming through. And there's a lot. See. Oh, God. Should we take a little look-see? Yeah. Okay, I need to move so. There's a big one here. Oh, God. We didn't ask. Which is lovely, but for some people, they can afford you. We didn't ask her to post. She just came to support us, which is lovely. But for people out there that can afford influencers, make sure you get the right person for you. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. So I think we touched on that, like finding the right person that does align with your brand. So... Like, I, I've been invited to a, a, a bike event, like mm -hmm. a week cycling, and I can't sit still to save my life. So I just said, I'm sorry, but no, it's, it's not, not going to work. <laughs> Thanks for just, all the comments, guys. Yeah, there's it's so a much lot. love. There's a lot of We stuff. love any, that you're loving this. Are you looking for the questions? Yeah, I'm looking for yeah. any questions. Okay. I think we've pretty much covered everything, yeah. actually. Um,. Maybe I'll mention some platforms. So if you're an influencer, you oh, do want yeah, um, to sign up to some platforms to get jobs and things. There are yeah. some great ones out there. So I mentioned the right fit. 
love that because it's very professionally done. Um, they pay you on the day of the job. Excellent. Um, yep, and it's done through. I don't and know, is that apps. just Australian? No, um, they're now rich in Singapore as well, I think. There you and are. I think they're just about to go international as well. But you do have to apply, I think. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Good to um, know. Brand Snob is another one. That's an app, but they do a lot of gifting, so you've got to be prepared that they don't always have paid things on there. Okay. Um. Yeah. Anything else Tribe. Else? Okay. Tribe is a really good. I haven't yet used Tribe. I have the app on my phone, but I don't always. I haven't used it yet. But on Tribe, it's all these brands that you're probably already using. That's and, cool. Yeah. So this is a really cool thing. So this is why I think it's great that you can choose the things that you want to apply for. So for example, there is um, a sunscreen brand on there at the moment. Well, you should use sunscreen, right? And if you go and try it, you should use maybe, sunscreen every day yeah. if you live in WA. Yeah. Or you will burn. <laughs> so <laughs> if you you may already have these products in your house, so check out go. Tribe. Tribe, sign up, check that out, and. Then you, um, I think you just take the photos and submit them. And if they get approved, then they have the amount on there. I think you choose the amount that uh, followers depends on the amount that you get paid. But they, it's brands you that know, want to buy your content boy. because big brands don't have time to constantly be pushing out all this content. They want people that are already using it and loving their products to share it for them. So that's how we get brand awareness. Alrighty. Yeah. Well. Thanks so much for being my guest today. Oh, pleasure, treasure. Um, thanks for letting me pop your live, Cherry. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for popping my How to Socialize, Cherry. First guest of the series. And I think that's it for the yeah. day. I'm excited to read all the comments. I'm excited yeah. too. So if you're in the social club, I will be posting this video straight into the social club. Ash is in it. So yeah. if you've got any more questions that we didn't discuss... Ask them on the thread in the social club and you'll be able to get my answers and Ash's answers. Yeah, and don't be shy as well. And don't be shy. Yeah, We're very um, friendly. I mean, I started getting messages come through even yesterday saying, oh, I want to ask this, but I don't want other people to see and, and oh. to see if your question will help someone else and yeah we're all we all want to you're help helping the world learn yeah. yeah all right guys well we shall love you and leave you yeah. thank you to everyone who has given us a whole hour of their time we really <laughs> appreciate it and stay tuned for the next free webby on how to socialize which will be with my wonderful Matthew Land. Oh, is it? Oh, can I come and watch? You can. Yes. And the topic will be how to build a luxury brand Ooh. using Instagram. So That's stay amazing. tuned for that. If you have specific questions that you want answered by him or me on that topic, let me know. And 